Hmm. So you mentioned investing in yourself, um, which I, I believe in dearly. I'm in a lot of mastermind groups. I read a lot, just like you kind of mentioned and things like those. Can you give some more like concrete restoration specific investing in yourself tools that maybe restorers have, but maybe they don't know about that exist out there? Yeah. So I think, you know, whether, whether it applies to you, whether it applies to your employees, I think if this is a career that you want to be in, um, I think from a technical perspective, obviously IICRC mm -hmm. is, at, is the forefront of everything. But if you truly plan on running a business, you, you ought to be carrying some sort of master designation. It's basically accumulation of a bunch of IICRC designations. Um, I happen to have three of them, spent a lot of time doing that, something you ought to be putting your employees through. Um, RIA, I would say, is I would say an advanced master designation in IICRC would be like a, I don't know, maybe it's an associate degree in college. If you want to get your bachelor's or your master's degree, you go into the RIA track. It's a multi-year commitment. Uh, it's a financial time investment of capital, um, but they have water loss specialists. There's environmental. There's your certified restorer. Um, that's the cream of the crop. There's only like the CR, which is probably their most uh, pinnacle rest, uh, restoration certificate. There's, I was number 600. I don't think there's 800 of those in the country, Alex. Uh, yep. When you look at the WLS within the RAA, I don't even think there's 200 of those in the country. So, um, and I think there's other things like Actionable Insights does some great things. I think Reach Drawing Academy, uh, Large Loss Mastery with Tom McGuire. Um, actually, I, I, I'll tell you, we sent all of our top estimators in the entire country to the large loss mastery course. And a lot of times when you send employees, you get mixed bags. Some people really love it. Some people say it was a waste of time. I had some of my most tenured seasoned people that know the industry inside and out. They went to Tom's class and they came back and thanked me 10, 10 times over and said, Jeff, you sent us to a bunch of courses, some of which were not worth our time, but this one was incredible. Even as someone who's handling five and $10 million jobs, I learned a ton going into this class. So I think there's a lot within industry, but I also think there's just as much outside. The industry is gonna give you a technical base, but if mm -hmm. you wanna be a good leader, you wanna grow, you've gotta go outside the industry. There's groups like Vistage, there's, if you're a CEO, there's groups like YPO, there's, uh, you can have uh, coaches. I mean, there it's literally endless on what you can do, but um, the technical stuff is only gonna get you so far if you're looking to grow the business and run an organization. The technical skills are great, but as you grow, those become less valuable to you personally, and those general broad leadership courses and opportunity are quite honestly, they're more valuable.